86 IROC Z with outhouse engineering chassis. It's got a fast way development, rear suspension, which consists of a cantilever and a fifth or sixth coil lift bar. It's got a strut rod front end. It's got a Borchert Speed and Automotive engine consisting of 413 cubic inches. The owners are R&D Racing Enterprises with some help out of D&D Electronics from Thanesville, Wisconsin. Billy Hoffman did his sign lettering and Bud's Racing Tires and Accurate Fabrication helped us out also. You got your start, uh... Well, we really have uh, in the back of our minds buying a sprint car for 86 and uh, going out and uh, doing some touring. Wisconsin's fun, but there's more places to race in Hales Corners. <laughs> That's true, uh... Couple years, the cars are getting so much faster, and cars are so much more competitive. Along with drivers spending a lot more money, sponsor-wise, there's a lot more input into the game. We race uh, as competitively as we can. In 1986, we're going to have a new 24-foot enclosed trailer, which we're real excited about because it makes it just so much easier to go to and from the racetrack with uh, fully enclosed setup. We've got uh, first year for a brand new motor first year for a spare, and unfortunately my wife's dishwasher and uh, clothes dryer and all that sort of stuff is going to sit by the wayside because of the brand new piece that we bought for the race car, but we build a lot of our own components. I build my own front axles and build my own wings and build my own bumpers and build my own headers and build my own aluminum pieces and torsion arms and almost have to do all that so we can be moderately competitive on a financial basis, you know. Let's talk about fun. Ned, there's a lot of display space available on the car, the side of the race car, the hood on the race car, the wings on the race car. They have a virtual rolling billboard, you might say, for it. The only bad part about that is it's really hard to get anyone to realize that the sport of sprint car racing, you know, even though it's in its infancy in the state of Wisconsin, is a great advertising media, is a great uh, promotional media, aside from the fact that it's crowd appealing, it's... Uh, Sponsor rewarding many of the things that we feel are worthwhile. It's hard to convince the the average advertiser that this is a highly marketable piece of material that he can uh, he can do some good for his product. What we feel we can do for the sponsor is number one, give them a very uh, advertising oriented, professional appearing uh, race car display. Not only can we put on what we feel are very competitive, professional appearance to and from the racetrack, at the racetrack, we also feel we can uh, take the car to the sponsor. We can help the sponsor with his product. We hopefully can endorse the product as far as uh, appearances are concerned. We hopefully can uh, help the sponsor in that respect. Well, I'm probably one of the oldest sprint car racers along with uh, Bob Robo and and Dickie Colbert, we've been around the most racing with each other. The, uh, the age bracket, I'm going to be 44 in, uh, in March, which puts me probably as one of the older sprint car racers. And I've been around racing for, this will be my 20th year. So the only bad part about being around racing for 20 years is that uh, I haven't spent 20 years in sprint car racing. This will be my third full season in sprint cars, and I ran open wheel modifieds and ran super modifieds and ran the, the clutch sprint cars at Wilmot, but as far as an all-out sprint car, this will be the third full season in an all-out push start, non-clutch, non 1,500-pound type sprint car to be trying to be competitive with sprint car races all over the country. Is there any... Uh... Well, I'd say about the biggest difficulty is uh, realizing that super modifieds and the modifieds and the sprint cars go all 
about the same. The, the biggest difficulty is in the dollar and cents department. The purses don't change a whole lot from modified to super modified to sprint card. Uh, the money to win probably changes a whole lot, but the cost factor, the super modified, the modified, almost entirely home built. You can build virtually everything on the car other than the engine and the uh, actual rear end. Now these cars, uh, you almost have to start with a sprint car frame, driveline components, rear ends. You've got probably $20,000 in the car when you roll on the racetrack. I probably had, as a matter of fact, the first car I bought uh, cost $1,200. I bought it from Wayne Erickson. Fuzzy Fosbinger got me a deal I couldn't refuse, you know, one of those way back in, way back when we ran stone boats. And that car cost $1,200, including the engine, uh, eight wheels and tires for spares, the trailer, and a spare fuel injection. That was $1,200. Now, three of my right rear beadlock wheels and tires cost, just, just the wheels cost more than that. So uh, that's how the sports evolved, and unfortunately, our purses haven't evolved accordingly. As a vocation, you're a son In 1978. Since then, we've been increasing our members. We've been presenting trophies at Wisconsin tracks, both dirt and asphalt. At the end of our year, we have a big finale, which is our awards banquet, which we honor drivers from every division of auto racing. And uh, we have always had biggies there. This is a dress up occasion where everybody gets to have fun. Okay, we also are involved in the car shows, as you see here. We have our membership sheets and other promotional items always available at the table. We, uh, like I said, go to various tracks throughout the state, which also gets more people interested in the club. We have um, a fundraiser for service projects, which is, well, this past year we had food for families. We had toys for tots program at Christmas time. And it varies through the year. It used to be the MAC fund, and I'm sure within the next few years it'll be different too, but it should be a charity a year at least once. If you join Wisconsin Fans for Auto Racing, you get a membership card. This membership card entitles you to come to our movie night, which is racing movies. We have this in November every single year. You get in free. You get a discount if you come to our awards banquet. You get discounts at various racetracks that participate in our discounts. And you, uh, the last past year and this year, we also have uh, group membership cards for Great Lakes Dragaway. If you use half of these, you get all your money back on your membership. So it will be free. First thing I'll ask you, just talk about your race car, what it is, where you race it, a little bit, you know, who built it, da 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 da, just how much a general racer's shit. So, you just want me to come out and sail and stuff, or what? No, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, you're going to ask me. What time do you want to The car is 86 Firebird. Previously owned by Dave Straw, built by Ray Callahan with bullet chassis. And through Tom Sack Racing, this is where the car started. Uh, it previously was driven to a fifth place finish in 1985 and has, has set track records at various tracks in Illinois and Wisconsin. General idea is to help my sponsors out, give them, give them some, some exposure, like Bud Light and Perfection Auto Body and Portrait Speed Automotive, for, to name a few. Well, the hood is all up to Billy Hoffman. He just created it out of his own mind, and it's just, I know, it's really appealing, and I think a lot of people really like it. Well, the first thing I'm going to try to get Rookie of the Year at Hales Corners, but the main thing is to really learn and try to move ahead a little bit. We're uh, obviously interested in being involved in racing full-time. Uh, right.
right now I teach school during the day and I race weekends and summers. Uh, I'd like to think that I could be in the same mold of Junior Hanley or Ed Howe where they continue to race and build cars. So someday, eventually as a car owner, I'd like to think I could run another five years yet competitively. Our 1986 program uh, is going to be a Thunderbird sponsored by Continental Contractors and Montana Trucking. Uh, we're going to start at Capitol Speedway in late April and we're going to concentrate on trying to win the title at Slinger. Thank you. 